What's up everybody, my name is Jamie Thompson. Super excited to get my hands on this brand new PX5 analog mixer from Zone. Um, been waiting all day, so let's get this thing out of the box and do a quick overview. All right, so let's get this thing opened up here. All right, cool. So we got this thing open. Um, it looks like right off the top we have our replacement caps, which is awesome. Um, we have our quick start guide. Looks like everything's packed really well here. Uh, we got two pieces of foam over the top. And there she is, the Zone PX5. We have an IEC cable here, standard power cable. So it looks really nice. Knobs feel good, faders feel good, crossfader feels nice, super smooth, nice sleek mixer. Here's the back side, nice and heavy, solid build. All right, well let's get into the overview here. So again, this is Allen and Heath's brand new performance focused effects mixer. It's completely analog and it's called the PX5 from Zone. This thing is awesome. It takes the great analog warmth from the Zone 92, including the analog filter, and adds USB connectivity with built-in effects like you might find in the DB2 or the DB4. So you don't have to use an external effects model if you don't want to, but you can bridge it in if you want to layer your effects. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to go down to the bottom here. So from the very top, we've got our send section. So we have our effects send here, and above is our send destination. Now we have internal, we can do external module, or you can send to both at the same time in dual mode. So if you want to layer your internal effects engine with your external effects module, you can set this to dual and send to both from here. Let's go ahead and set that to internal. Below that is our effect send. Then we have our input selection, phono, USB, or line. Now this does have a 20 channel built-in USB audio interface. That's 24 bit, 96K. And that allows you to stream five channels to and from your computer. Then we have our gain stage, our three band EQ. This is a total kill EQ. Let's just take a listen to that. Highs, mids, and lows. Then we get down to our uh, filter button here, and below that we have our VCA faders, which feel awesome. Now we have five channels, that's four channels here, and then we have our auxiliary channel. Now the only difference between our auxiliary channel and our other channels is that we don't have a VCA fader. So everything you can do here, your effects send, your three band total kill EQs, gain stage, you can pull this from USB, line, or microphone input that's on the back. It does have XLR and quarter inch available and goes right down the line just the same as the other channels, just without the fader. So now let's take a listen to our filters here. So let's go ahead and enable our high pass filter here and bring in our synth. Now our above our high pass button is a resonance knob that goes from mild to wild. I'm going to go ahead and start with wild here. Let's take a listen. Now here's our high pass filter. Low pass filter. Let's throw the drums in there too.
Now let's take a listen and uh, check out the difference between mild and wild here. So this is mild. And here is uh, the high pass filter in wild. So you can really hear the resonance come through. We got a bandpass filter. Cool. Now let's take a look at our effects section. So let's bring our vocal line, set this to internal. Now our effects can source from our aux channel or channel one, two, three, four, our entire master channel, or our send here. Now that's how we're gonna set it. We can also map the sends to your cross fader with the X fade, and then we also have pre or post fader here. So let's go through the effects section here. So we'll click the effects knob. We have a ton of effects in the new Excite effects engine. We've got Q delay, PCM delay, filter delay, delay and reverb, mod delay, tape, echo. Clean plate, swell reverb, concert hall, tile room, attack gate, reso gate, flanger, pitch verb, time warp, distortion. So quite a bit. So I'm going to stick with the tape echo here. So let's go ahead and send our vocal loop through our effects engine. Now we can start with either tapping the tempo here, or we can hold the button down and this will analyze the track to give you the BPM and we'll set it automatically. So this is a great feature if you don't have the best luck with tap tempos. And there we go. We also have our interval knob here to set the delay time. And let's go ahead and send this vocal in. Very cool. Now we have our level here, effects on and off. We have our decay. And we also have our focus knob. Now the focus knob will focus on certain frequency bands to apply the effects to. So we can delay just the low frequencies. Or we can sweep up to the high frequencies or you can center it to bypass. Cool, let's filter out this track. You can hear the delay still going because we do have it set up in pre-fader still. Cool, let's take a look at the backside. So on the back side here, we have our auxiliary channel with both XLR and stereo quarter inch inputs. We also have our input channels at the top. This is our lines one through four. Now these can be line or phono, RCA inputs or USB. We also have XLR outputs, RCA outputs and quarter inch outputs over this way. We also have our master insert here. Over to the side, we have our X-Link connection, which can be used to link your K1 or K2 controllers, which is super cool because you don't have to use extra USB ports. You can just link all of your controllers together into your mixer. We also have your USB to your computer and our five pin MIDI sync output. Now you can use this mixer as your master clock to sync your external devices like drum machines or synthesizers to keep time with your mixer. Then we have our quarter inch stereo external effects in here, along with our effects return and also uh, RCA record output. So there you have it. It's a quick overview of the PX5. I'm super excited about this mixer and hope you dig it. Thanks for watching.